Howdy folks. Today we're taking a look at the Chameleon MPAS antenna. It's the modular antenna system that they have. And we're actually breaking this up into a couple parts because it's a lot of system in there and we can't really do it justice in one video. So we're going to break it into two. Today we're taking a look at the vertical format. As we get started, if y'all would do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Um, Want to help the Padawans out? There's some links down below to help us out there. Any help you can give us, we definitely appreciate. And let's get this show on the road. Alrighty, next up is the Chameleon m -Pass antenna. It's actually two of them. We've got the m 2.0 and the m -Pass Lite. Um, it's MPAS. It stands for Modular Portable Antenna System. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's definitely modular. There are a bunch of different configurations that you can go with this. And so we're going to whip the uh, 7300 out because this one will handle 100 watts, which is more my cup of tea today and try out a few of the configurations here. So as we get started, let's take a look at what we have. Now you've got it, went through and labeled some of this stuff here. This is the 73 feet of um, antenna wire. That's for the impasse light. Um, that's the counterpoise wire. This is, oh, I forget the fancy name for it. It's the it's their little matching unit. Um, this is the spike mount, which, yeah, spike, yeah, yeah, okay, um, and some of these configurations, basically, you just can cram this dude in the ground, and we're going to mount it up right there. This is the collapsible whip, and I think it goes out to like 18 feet or something crazy. Um, this is the extendable military or mill spec pole or whatever that is, and this is another one. So... Let's get this thing uh, set up for the first configuration and we'll take a look at what we've got. Started, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, there are so many different configurations in here. RTFM, man. Okay, so, and yeah, they're calling that, that little gizmo, the hybrid. Okay, actually, I think that's the hybrid micro. Yeah. Okay, so the first configuration we are going to go with is, to show you that picture i don't have a man pack um i guess i could rig one up out of a backpack or whatever but it's actually designed to be able to have a radio in here have the micro mounted on the side and set the pack down and get on the air okay so first configuration we are going to do is going to be this one right here and this is the portable vertical okay so we're going to get this thing set up the instructions do a great job of laying out um, what you're going to need, it tells you you're going to need six components. You're going to need the mill 2.0 st um, stick, the extension 2.0, the hybrid mini 2.0, which is that dude, counterpoise wire, the spike mount, and the 50 feet of coax. So let's get this thing set up. Okay, so we need the hybrid, hybrid micro, mini, whatever. We need the foldable whip and I'm going to tell you when taking this thing down um, it says to make sure that you start at the top otherwise you can get all janky in there with that um, you have to take off the nuts and the shackle there off of the hybrid mini to make this go on there because what's gonna happen is this is gonna screw down onto the spike mount I've already got the uh, long extension pole over there that's going to come on top of here and we're going to be on the air so we do need the um counterpoise though and of course the coax so let's finish getting that up okay of course this whole thing shackle needs to come out. don't just take it off the top like i just did this whole dude's going to come out because that's what we're going to mount that antenna into
All right, there it is. You can see it's got a little lean to it, that spike. Probably didn't get it quite all the way perfectly in the ground. And it realistically could go a fair bit deeper. That's that. Now we're missing the radio. All right, got it hooked up to the MFJ analyzer. Let's see what we got here. See this? All right, we're going to run it at fourteen point two, and I have an SWR of one point six eight to one. That's not so bad. Okay, it's 72, it's a little higher. It's at 3.26. It does say that as it gets lower in frequency, you'll need a tuner. Okay, now let's go. That's 14.26. 18 megahertz, 18 point, whatever that is, 26, is 1.32 to one. 21 megahertz, 1.64 to one. 24 megahertz, 2.2 to 1. 2 and at 28 megahertz, it's 2.58. Still doable with that tuner there, but we're going to put this thing on 20 meters. It's getting a little late in the day, but we're going to put it on 20 meters and see who we can't, you know, round up. I do find it usually helps to take the coax off of the analyzer and actually attach it to the radio hint 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 pro tip baby not everybody not everybody gives you those tips for free there you go all right let's see what we got here all right i hear people well, I hear noise anyway. Let's go up to 14. Yeah, there's a lot of activity on the van here. Let me see if I can get this set, this is set up a little bit better for us. All right, we're going to try to grab this guy in Brazil. Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha Portable. Kilo 5 Delta. Negative Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha. You are 55 Cinco y Cinco in Mississippi. Kilo 5 Alpha Tango uh, Alpha Charlie Oscar A November Mike November. You are 58 58 here in Santiago de Cuba. My name is Noel November Oscar Eco Limo, uh, Lima. Uh, kilo Phi Alpha Tango Alpha, over. Que es on the way, you are Cinco y Cinco, 55, into Mississippi. Mi nombre is Steve, Sierra Tango Echo Victor Echo. QSO? Okay, Steve, uh, nice to meet you. Happy New Year, and uh, thank you so much for your call from uh, um, uh, Steve. Uh, thank you. Uh, kilo Phi Alpha Tango Alpha, Charlie Oscar A, November, May, November, 73. 73. Bad. Got Cuba. Kilo Five Alpha Tango Alpha Portable. Uh, kilo Five uh, Station, come back. Yeah, this is Kilo Five Alpha Tango Alpha. I'm portable. Actually, I'm making a a video on a chameleon antenna from my YouTube channel and tuned across you and thought I'd give you a shout. Thank you for coming back. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my big apologies. I still miss the suffix. Over. I've got Kilo 5 Alpha Tango something over. It's Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha, America, Tokyo, America. QSL? Uh, QSL, oh, I'm very sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't 
didn't get you the first time. Yeah, uh, and I think it's Stephen, uh, if I'm not mistaken, ever. That's correct. The name here is Steve in Mississippi, Mike Sierra. Yeah, okay. I've got you uh, five nine, uh, Steve, into Western Belize, uh, and you said you were portable. What are you out in the park somewhere? Yeah, we're sitting out um, using a battery and a ICOM seventy three hundred, and I'm testing out some of the chameleon antennas, and this one is the MPAS. It's a little spike in the ground vertical antenna, and it seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I've, uh, I, I hope so. I've got one of those on order, uh, actually, over. Well, I think you'll be pleased with it. You're, you're going to be on my YouTube video where I'm going to review it. So <laughs> if, you, if you look it up in the next week or two, then you'll, you'll hear yourself on, on the air. And uh, you sound really good coming into Mississippi. Well, thanks very much. Uh, you're also uh, coming in very well into Western Belize. Uh, still very strong 5.9, and uh, you're using the 7300. This is also 7300. Um, the uh, power at the moment is about 500 watts, and the antenna is a, a very old uh, Kushtrap A3S, up about 35 feet. I've had that antenna about uh, 20, 23 years, 24 years over. Sounds good. I've had this one. In fact, this one's not even mine. It's on loan for me to do the review. But uh, yeah, I'm running the 7300 and I'm just running the 100 watts. And uh, the antenna, I'm, you're going to be pleased with it. It sets up really, really quickly and it seems to do a great job. So. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I'll look for, uh, I'll look for your video and uh, I'd like to thank you very much for the contact today. Hope you had a great uh, Christmas, and um, let's hope uh, you have a gr good New Year, and the uh, year ahead is a better one than this one, over. Hey Amen. It can't get a whole lot worse than it was this year, so it's bound to be better. So thanks for your contact, and 7-3. Have a great day. 7-3, Steve. All the very best to you from Belize. This is Victor 3 one Zulu Alpha. Off and clear. Bye for now. 7-3, K5ATA. Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha K5 ATA Portable. Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha. It's Kilo 5 Alpha Tango Alpha America Tokyo America QSL. Thank you for that 57. You are 5555 five into Mississippi, Mike Sierra. Name here is Steve Sierra Tango Echo Victor Echo QSL. Alrighty, that's a wrap on that one. I think he did a fine job. Um, quick setup, quick breakdown. Um, overall, pretty pleased with it. Next up, we're going to take a look at the sloper configuration for this antenna. So check it out next. Make sure you watch the channel. Y'all take care. Hope to see you on the air. 7-3.